There are tons of places to visit in Virginia Beach, ranging from free things to do like beaches and parks, all the way to museums and restaurants. Today I'm going to bring you along and show you some of the best things to do here. And if you've ever visited before and you have suggestions for me to do on my next trip here, make sure to comment those below. And subscribe for more travel adventures. Alright, let's go! First stop is really what you're coming for, which is Virginia Beach itself. It is the largest beach in, what was it? It was like the largest pleasure beach in the US or something. I was like, pleasure beach, okay. But yeah, it's amazing. And what I'm on right now is the Virginia Boardwalk, which is this three mile like hike that you can do and go to all these different restaurants and shops. And it's like the coolest thing ever. So we're just like enjoying the views and gonna see what else we get up to on this walk. I mean. It's so cool. Views on this side. Views on views. Views on this side of like different hotels. Yeah, most of the hotels are on the boardwalk, which is really nice because if you book there, you can literally just walk, walk outside. right to the beach. And most of them are oceanfront, so you get a beautiful view from your room. This is so different. I've never seen this before at a beach. Have you? It's kind of like Miami Beach. It is kind of like I Miami. Like it's way more chill. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Way more chill. Yeah, it is a Wednesday in the summertime, but. So your options for this boardwalk is to walk or you can ride your bike, which they have a separate lane for, so you don't get ran over when you're walking, which is great. It's over here. Or you can rent a Surrey, which is that like pedal machine bike thing, right. um, which also is gonna be over there. So uh, it's great. You don't have to worry about rollerbladers or you know scooter people running you over. You can just walk freely down the boardwalk and enjoy. Lucas and I are arguing whether or not, not really arguing, but we're, we're wondering, Yelling. okay, we're screaming while well, someone next to us is. There's this part of this hair alert. The wind is making my hair crazy. Anyways, <laughs> there's this part of this playground over here. I think it's made of sand. Lucas thinks it's supposed to be looking like it's made of sand. I think it's fake. I think it's fake too, but it's really good. Now I've changed. I've you changed. changed now you're okay, look, here, this is what it looks like. What do you think? Sand or now? I think it's plastic. at the beach as you can see and it goes for miles this way and miles this way sorry if it's windy and you can't hear me uh, it's a windy day but it actually is quite nice because it's like 90 degrees we are here at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning so it's not 90 yet it's supposed to be 90 I think it's what 85 right now at 9 in the morning and now you can see how the beach is quite empty this early which is really nice like we have this whole setup going on behind us and we have like no one next to us, which is awesome. And perfect beach view, perfect ocean view. It's been great. And I got the cutest setup ever for the beach. I got a couple things from Sunday Supply Company and a couple things from Business and Pleasure Company. And I will leave the link to everything that I got below. I waited for their sale for July 4th. So they have really good sales. So Labor Day, I'm sure Black Friday, etc. So if it is too pricey for you, wait for a sale. But uh, we are enjoying our beach time in this awesome setup with this beautiful view behind me. And we're just gonna chill out, eat some lunch. We packed a picnic lunch. And then, yeah. Wow, the hotel looks awesome from here, by the way. Yeah. This is the hotel we're staying at and I will uh, be giving you all a tour of that very soon in this vlog. Also, the sand is super soft. It's not like Siesta Key Beach in Florida soft, but it is very soft and it's very golden. It's just gorgeous. We saw a dolphin. I don't know if it was the same one twice or if it was two dolphins, but... Oh, there it is. I had no idea that, yeah, Virginia Beach would have so many dolphins. Or is it just in the morning? Also, I'm wearing my AirPods because I'm about to hop on a call. <laughs> this is so amazing. Plus the umbrella. We've never like purchased an umbrella or had an umbrella at the beach. <laughs> it's life-saving. We're in the shade right now, as you can tell from the shot. I've always just brought like a beach blanket and that's a mistake. The uh, beach umbrella is awesome. And these chairs were so lightweight, by the way. It's like they're hollow, like piping in the chairs and in the umbrella. So it's super lightweight setup to bring out to the beach. Another dolphin. We're living our best lives right now. 
It's so calm and quiet. I'd say the only downside so far for Virginia Beach is that you can hear the Navy flying overhead a lot. So it gets loud every once in a while. The water isn't very clear. It looks like I haven't been in yet, but I don't it's not Florida. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, so while I was on the call, the dolphins got crazy. I swear there were like 20 of them out there and they were doing tricks. They were like jumping in the air and like diving back in and then like flipping their tail and stuff. And I was like, this is the best, oh. Lifeguard. Uh, that there must be a person too close to the dolphins because they are close some people have brought like a picnic lunch like we have or their dogs and like kids are playing in the sand i don't know it's very nice and we're right next to the fishing pier so that's like a vibe in itself uh i love it here do you see me yeah we're going to the water so lucas's method is to put the beach towel on his toes. Keeps my feet and my toes nice and chilly. You look so sweet from the water. I just went in for a swim and it was so nice. The water is like perfectly cool, cooling like for a hot day. And the sand at the bottom of this beach is so soft all the way out. And also you can like stand up a long time. It's not too like deep. Oh, the sand was so soft. Lucas, we, you definitely have to go in for a swim. Yeah, at some point. We have so much stuff. We probably will have to go on it. Oh, it's probably too windy for you to hear me. Okay, so for lunch on the beach, we are having like a tomato caprese chicken sandwich, but it's all vegan. So this is vegan chicken, uh, vegan mozzarella. I know, surprises, right? But it actually tastes amazing. And then I did like a pesto dressing. Let's see what this vegan chicken is made out of. It says soy protein. So it's made from soy. So there you go. Wow, the hair is awesome. <laughs> and then the mozzarella is from cashews. Don't knock it till you try it, by the way. This Miyoko's cashew mozzarella is the best Thing I've ever had. Um, try it, even if you're not vegan, or even if you've never had like a, a non-dairy milk. That is the cheese to start with. It is insanely good. I highly recommend. My whole family likes it, and none of them are vegan. Um, so how's your sandwich? Let's see. The sourdough is so good. The sauce, the chicken, pulling apart. You can see the texture. I'm also having chippings in between. Air fried Himalayan salt. Um, He's also eating this. Got the blood orange spin drift in the house. Lucas just put on some Hawaiian music out of our little Marshall speaker and it's such a vibe. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we didn't do this sooner. Ah, uh, This is my favorite. Incredible. I highly recommend coming to Virginia Beach. We've absolutely enjoyed this beach day. And within walking distance of most of the hotels is the Vibe District. It's about a 15 minute walk from our hotel. And this is an art district with colorful street art, shops, and restaurants. And our first stop is coffee. So we are here at the Three Ships Coffee Roasters. It is a must. Apparently that's what they say on the blogs. So they roast their own beans here apparently and really good coffee. So we're gonna test that theory. I'm already obsessed with this coffee shop because the interior reminds me of like my grandma's basement. <laughs> like it looks so much like her basement. I wish I had a picture to show you, but it's a vibe. What you doing? Just checking them all out. They have different, so many different types. I really like the uh, branding, like the way that the labels look. Oh wow, thank you. Oh, look at adorable. What did you get? The Land Lover. It has, it's like a uh, cold brew with oat milk and vanilla. So I ended up getting the chai latte with oat milk cold, and it's so good and so spicy. Mm. And Lucas, no, what, what did this. you get? Let's oh, you're see. gonna try it? Isn't it really good? Now we're gonna like go around and look at all the little shops that are right here in this exact area. There's like so many cute little shops, so we're gonna check those out next. Our first stop is Jars of Dust behind me. It is a pottery and ceramic shop. It's really cool that like all these local artisan shops are like right next to the coffee shop. Like there's two more that we're gonna go to after this. And then also there's a surfing store right here. Seems appropriate for Virginia Beach, so probably gonna have to hit that up too. <laughs> we actually need a butter dish, so this is like perfect. I think we need to get the white one. Yeah. Right? Ooh. But also there's a green one though. That's tough. Butter dish problems. <laughs> well, all the rest of our dining stuff is white, so you But it's actually, oh, it is true, but a lot of our decor is green. So she's saying everything is locally made and that you can take classes here. And so we have to come back and do a class. Let's talk about this mug and how it has a thumb holder. 
and it's very lightweight actually, so kind of nice. And it's large, so Lucas, plenty for your coffee. Fruit bowl and these vases. That green one's adorable. Endless possibilities. Endless. Endless. Oh, it looks like over here is, this is, these are what you can make if you take a workshop here. A plate, a raised plate, mugs, so it looks like a planter, neat, and a pet bowl. Look how cute this candlestick holder is. Yeah. Are you kidding me Using right now? <gasps> oh my gosh. You could really play Scrooge in this. <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> Frosted glasses, <laughs> a matchstick holder. Are you joking? Look how cute this is. And I, is this where you can use the outside to strike the match? Stop. <gasps> You can use the outside to strike the match and it'll light up. Oh, it's two in one. This next one is Igor's gift shop and it looks amazing. It has like antiques and like, I think gifts and stuff like that. So we're really interested in that. We like old things. Any publicity? Yeah, if you Any more publicity? <laughs> I just slow, slow zoom in on your face. All right. <laughs> this is the Igor of Igor's custom shop. And if you come, you can talk to him. A lot. <laughs> And then over here is the retail side, and you can get all these cool shirts, Igor's Custom, of course, mm -hmm. and the hat, which is dope. Classic hat. And vintage. this is the alley area, so you can get one of those, and also this tote. And there's other things Signs. that are coming. I got this sticker, by the way, because, uh, duh. Um, and there's other things coming, so if you come once, you gotta come back, because apparently there's new totes that aren't even up yet, and new stickers coming. Basically, that's his shop, and he's an artist that, like, does commissioned work, but he has a little bit of, a, like, a retail area, as you saw, and it's just fun to go in and chat with him. You can chat with the owner, who apparently is quite famous, that's what his friend said in there, and, uh, it's true. I, I read about him on the blog, so it was really cool to meet him, and, uh, it was really fun. So, last stop in the alley is the North End Bag Company. I think there's a lot of leather goods in here, um, but they have other stuff too. So for lunch, we decided on Esoteric, which is a really cool restaurant, actually. The vibes are really awesome on the inside, and they have a lunch menu, and they had tons of vegan options here as well. A black bean burger, vegan poutine even was in their menu. Um, so obviously we're gonna get that. Oyster mushrooms, needed. And then I'm gonna get a bowl. But uh, something I just remembered actually was that on one of my uh, YouTube videos, when I said I was getting a veggie burger, someone commented and said, as soon as you said veggie burger, I stopped listening. And I was like, why does that make you stop listening? Also, this menu, just like that one, has tons of other options besides vegan options. So like, it is a good place for you to go eat if you want. Like, I didn't realize my food choice was so offensive. <laughs> I thought I would share that with you guys um, because I get some really interesting YouTube comments and that one was, that one was really good. That was quality, in my opinion. Oh wow, so we got the vegan poutine, which looks insane, by the way. And these oyster mushrooms, buffalo oyster mushrooms, so. Is this a I love taste oyster test? mushrooms. They're spicy, perfect, crunchy, full of flavor. I love that. Oh, it smells good too. That jackfruit is smoked so good. Yeah. The taste is so good. What's better, the jackfruit or the oysters? Yeah. The food here is amazing. It's so yeah. random. Yeah. What an amazing find. And also, by the way, they have a huge menu. Okay, oops. Um, totally ate my bowl, a lot of it already, but I got like a jackfruit farro bowl, and Lucas got a black bean burger. And we are liking them. They're not as good as the appetizers. Um, my bowl's actually really, really good. But the appetizers were like insane. Yeah. Literally right across the street from Esoteric is Lolly's Creamery. So we had to stop by. We were getting a peach sorbet. They have tons of flavors. Mm -hmm. um, the only vegan option, non-dairy, is peach sorbet right now. But sometimes, you can go get it, babe. Okay. But sometimes they do have coconut ice cream ones that are non-dairy, but not today. That's all right. We're going to taste test this. It's gonna be a live taste test. It looks amazing. Hang on. Here we go. It's happening. Peachy? Yeah. It has real peach in it, you can tell. Ooh, I like that. Mm. Yeah, it keeps getting better as you, as you eat it. it. <laughs> as you swallow it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good sorbet. The peach flavor is delicious. But I will say, the sorbet in Italy, um, Italy is better. But mm -hmm. I mean, why do we even compare? I think they invented it. It's just a little bit smoother in Italy, 
it almost tastes like ice cream in Italy. And this one is like you can tell it's made out of ice, but yeah, it's really good, honestly. It's good. Hmm. Perfect way to end lunch. Okay, so where to stay? I highly recommend if you're going to be at Virginia Beach to stay along the boardwalk, oceanfront. Um, they have hotels ranging from pretty low priced, under 100 a night, to much higher, four or 500 a night. We are uh, staying at the Moxie. Virginia Beach and it was I think right under $300 a night but I did get the upgraded room the more spacious room because last time we stayed in Moxie it was very tight and I just didn't want to deal with that because it's hot outside so I got the wider one I think it was only like $15 more and because I got the wider one it's the wraparound terrace suite so the balcony goes all the way around the corner and you get a beautiful ocean view so we're going to go out there and see that but right now let me just show you around the room. All right, and here is the room. So nice and spacious with a queen size bed, I think. I don't think that's a king. And we have a sink and a mirror right here. A, a large area for activities. So much room for activities. The TV, some hangers. Oh, an outdoor lantern. That's cool for later, I guess. Full length mirror, outfit check. I went for this beach themed tank top, very 90s I felt. Cut off jean shorts, white, tennies with tall socks, and uh, of course my lovely 1960s beach themed sunglasses I thought was appropriate for this fit. This right here is the entrance, also very spacious. And in here, can you turn on the light for the bathroom reveal? And this is the bathroom. So there is the shower toilet and the sink is out here like i said before boom all right let's go outside and enjoy the balcony see what it's like um so far it looks amazing now we can see crowd levels <laughs> wave levels feel the temperature i guess it wraps around let's go check it out oh it's getting pretty foggy can you still see me yeah so yeah this is the wraparound part and you can see the street view right there and then over here of course is the lovely beach view and what I didn't mention yet is that the boardwalk is like extremely kitschy shops. <laughs> I think they, there might be some sort of nice restaurants, but what we saw were like, you know, typical like beach and bar type restaurants. Um, check Google reviews. Um, the ones I checked were not very like good, but uh, <laughs> maybe it would, you'll find something better than I did. Um, we walked the fishing pier, which was interesting. They had a few like really kitschy like souvenir shops and but yeah, the view from this hotel is amazing and it definitely is giving the vibes of like the summertime and like the ocean out there. Um, pretty obsessed, I would say. I mean, Virginia Beach, where can you get an ocean view for like a couple hundred bucks or less, depending on the hotel? Yeah, so Lucas and I are just going to sit here and enjoy people watching and watching the boats go by and enjoying the ocean view and the nice breeze and uh, this is a good hotel. I definitely recommend it, but like I said, Search for any of the ocean fronts, read the reviews, and enjoy the view. And just 25 minutes from Virginia Beach is Colifer Farms. If you're looking for a different vibe than just the beach stuff, you can come out here. They do pick your own. Right now it's peach season, so you can pick your own peaches and then whatever it weighs you pay for. But they also have fresh produce available and they have baked goods. There's like an ice cream stand. They have pickles. They have jams. It's like really cute and homey and like their marketing and their branding is so adorable. And we ended up getting, this is our haul. We got the peach barbecue sauce. We got the pecan pie butter which is amazing it has apples brown sugar crushed pineapple pecans raisins and spices inside that's the ingredients and then we got some strawberry jalapeno pepper jam i told lucas we need to make like fried green tomatoes and and have this on there and we got one peach because it's peach season and we thought we needed to try it out and, corn. and we got three ears of corn so i thought you know we got a pretty good haul and we had a good time in there everyone's really cute and adorable but it is in the middle of nowhere yeah so be aware of that but it is a nice farm vibe it reminded me of home in indiana and yep. uh, i think we have to come back in the fall for pumpkins cool. and like apple that. cider stuff i would love that yeah that'd That's be cool. really fun okay and now next we are headed just seven minutes away and we saw some planes overhead, so we know it's near. The Aviation Museum, the Military Aviation Museum. So that's gonna be interesting. And it's nearby. 
First of all, we found, I know it's not really a military thing, but this is a car boat. Hang on, let me see if I can get a good angle on this. Okay, this is a car that you can drive into the water and it goes eight miles per hour in the water and 70 miles per hour on land. And also, why don't we have more of these? Oh, it's the fastest car on the water and the fastest boat on land. That's the line. I'm obsessed with this. I need this car boat. <laughs> there's only 4,000 ever built. What's Lucas trying to show me? Okay, there's a couple things. Okay. The logo on the steering wheel. <gasps> the logo on the steering wheel is like a castle. The finish, the finish line thing here. Oh, wow, the double flags. And then the world's smallest mirror here. They made mirrors so small back in the day. I think it, to not distract the, I don't know. Why is it so small? There are so many cool planes in here. How are we gonna ever look at them? 1949? Oh, this, these all in here are for the Navy. So these are all planes used in the Navy. So flown off of the boats. Yeah, exactly. Wow. This like plane right here though, is looks like a whale or like a sea creature doesn't it like you can tell this can land in the water it literally looks like some sort of boat like the way it's shaped right it's that star wars vibe though where like you can walk around the back of the plane and oh yeah oh wow yeah oh yeah the bubble han solo in there uh -huh. yeah so they told us that every single plane or 80 percent of the planes but the ones that are actually parked still fly yeah and that this is a private collection of somebody who just collected all these planes and now it's a museum so, so cool. <laughs> that's amazing who does that, who does that? And also like the cost to upkeep them to make sure they still fly, like that's just so cool. I'm glad that we donated to the cause by paying $15 each to get in here. <laughs> also, it's cool to see the planes obviously, but Lucas's grandpa flew a B-26 and they don't have a B-26 here. They a do B25. have a B-25 they said, which we haven't seen yet. We'll check it out. Um, but we'll check it out for sure. But the, if you haven't seen our Normandy vlog in France where we saw the B-26 that Lucas's grandpa um, was in in World War II. It wasn't yeah. the exact plane, but it was a plane Very from close. the Yeah, um, definitely I'll probably put it here and also in the description below because that vlog is the coolest It's us just searching World War II sites in Normandy to find Lucas's grandpa. It's amazing. It was really amazing experience. Yeah. We are in the army area and this look amazing. at this amazing Are you sure Billy Ray didn't paint this? Wild car Lucas's guy. grandpa was also a painter he, was. <laughs> he, he did actually paint the stuff on the sides of the planes but he also was a bomber in the plane, so he was multi-talented, apparently. Okay, so this is the B-25, and your grandpa flew a B-26. Yeah, it's close. So it is very thing. close, but not the same. See, and there's the bomb. That's where the bombs go out, right there. Because this is a bomber. Oh, yeah, the bombs would go down there. Okay, so Lucas's grandpa actually sat in here, and this was his position. This isn't the, the B-26, but this is the position that Lucas's grandpa yeah. sat this, in so this for World War II. Oh, it's so cool to see these up close. And these are actually from World War, World War II. Wow, look at that tiny one up there. Wow. Wow, it's been so much fun to look at all of these planes. And if you're really into planes or like antiques, this is definitely the place you need to come. And especially for World War One and Two, which is like, oh, uh, the British plane over here. <laughs> they also have World War One. We're just in the World War Two hangar. They have World War One. You have to like drive down and see. I think we're gonna go visit that as well. <laughs> so we are now in the World War One hangar and we learned so many interesting facts about World War One from somebody who works here. Um, everybody here is a volunteer and they know so much about the planes, but they were saying that the engine rotated with the propellers so that it was really hard to make a left turn. And they also said that the engines burned castor oil, which is a laxative, and when the pilots inhaled it, you know, while they were flying it, they had to poop really bad. <laughs> Apparently they like had diarrhea in their seats. Anyway, that was a really interesting fact. <laughs> and uh, we're just enjoying looking at all of these. Some are German, some are American, some are, no, British. I don't think any of our American because we weren't in the World War One. We were. We That's were? why we didn't want to go into World War Two because we were already oh. just in a war. Okay. Yeah. Some are German, some are British. I'm assuming some are American. I just see a lot of British ones over here and yeah, I saw I some know. German ones, so yeah. But uh, a lot of these are reproductions, but there are two original ones in this hangar, so. Really cool. And they still fly these. They were saying they fly them in October. But um, that's cool. It, it's been a wild ride experience. I definitely recommend stopping by. It is really, 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 really cool to see I everything. I would definitely stop by as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. What an amazing trip to Virginia Beach. I absolutely loved it. Yeah. Some other really good tips for the beach. 
the sand is very hot so make sure you wear sandals that you can walk across because yeah. it gets really hot yeah i also love the distance from like the boardwalk to the actual like area where you would hang out is very short so yeah. it's not a long walk so you don't get that tire carrying your bags and there are like no seagulls on True. this beach no so birds like birds aren't attra yeah they're not trying to attack you or eat your food yeah. so i really love this beach honestly it was yeah, amazing I, I we're definitely coming back we definitely are coming back i told lucas next time maybe with like less equipment and we just go swim together or something um there's a little bit of music here so let's uh end the vlog maybe in a different like Sounds area great. okay also visiting the aviation museum was so much fun and also we didn't even mention there was a um what would you call that stained glass piece Oh, yeah. Of the 9th Division, which was Lucas's grandpa's division, hanging inside the, of the uh, museum, watchtower. of the watchtower. Yeah. So we'll put a picture in of that because that was like, yeah, what are the chances? I told him, I said, First Lieutenant Billy Ray is saying hi to you, Lucas. That's the sign right there. But I don't know, you know, but it was so cool. And also we enjoyed getting like the farm goods. I can't wait to actually try the jars of deliciousness that we bought there. Yeah. The vibe district was so amazing. The I food esoteric was insane. So good. Meeting all the shop owners. Like we had a whole conversation with like every shop owner. It felt it, like in the vibe district, it was so much fun. Yeah. The coffee. Everyone's so nice. Everyone's so nice here. It was such an amazing trip. I highly recommend coming by to We're Virginia Beach. We're coming back, that's for sure. And again, if you have any suggestions of things to do that I missed out on that I should do at Virginia Beach next time we're here or something, comment that below. Would love to hear your suggestions. And also make sure to subscribe for more travel adventures and like this video if you enjoyed it. And subs did I say subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> and I will see you all next Sunday. Bye. Bye. See you soon.